so hello everyone today welcome back to another video for nssp 2022 so in this video today i'll be explaining the bar graph so bar graph is very important for uh, exam purposes the pie chart and line graph has been provided in the earlier videos and today i'll be explaining the bar graph question so bar graph though as we see bar the graph like that the go which represents the uh, data for literate and illiterate person in five villages so bar graph line graph or pie chart can difference tickets of little bar graph the though um in the bar bar to go that is box box to go or a line graph the though point to go kali point are the line by and got join gonna take go so bar graph the door rectangular shape the go raw line graph the door it will be uh, only line and this question has been asked in nbsc mains so i'll be doing nbsc mains question and if you look at the video uh, at the question the question says the bar graph diagram below represents the literate and illiterate person in five village the pangsta village village one village two village three village four village five there kiman pura likha je to dina je and answer the following question so here the first village the literate mana do 700 ase second literate e do e do illiterate mana do 200 mana je so village one day 700 literate or village one day illiterate manado 200 as in the same way village two day literate to 400 or 500 so it will be 450 and uh, illiterate to 0 100 to it is between 0 100 so 50 or so it half as a 50 as a third village three day um illiterate to 500 manose and illiterate is a little more than village two it will be 70 or 80 so let's take we let's take 70 and village for the literate to it is between 600 and 700 so 650 over or illiterate to 100 over. similarly village 5 there the literate manu to 800 as and illiterate manu to it is it is between 100 and 200 so it will be 150 so this data is obtained from this uh, the given question so what will be the total population of that village so the village one the total population it is 700 plus 200 similarly village two they do 450 plus 50 similarly village 3 there 500 plus 70 and village for the uh, 650 or the 100 or a second day the last vill last village there it is 800 plus uh, 150 so let's uh, before doing the question bar graph la men um, tell a before doing the question first make a table so i'll make a table on this so just try to do this first though one village one door are do village two it village three village four arrow It will, it will be village 5 so it illiterate arrow over the illiterate row literate arrow it will illiterate so i'll be writing a literate and illiterate that is i so it will be i l so first village says you do if you look the uh, literate manodik manaze it is 700 
Aro, similarly, village to the literate man that is four fifty. Lit uh, village three the five hundred. Aro village four the six fifty. Aro village five the eight hundred. Similarly, illiterate says you could do a two hundred as a Aro village two do. It is how much fifty village three do. It is seventy. We assume it is seventy village four do one hundred and village five do between two hundred and one hundred. So it will be one fifty. So sorry, man already do village one village two village three by now So total population do. It will be combined. So, 700 plus 200, it is 900. 450 plus 50, it is 500. 500 plus 70, it is 570. 650 plus 100, it is 750. And 800 plus 150 is 950. So, we obtain the total population so let's start the question question number one says that what is the total population of village four so village four the total population that is it will include both village one and village two uh, illiterate and illiterate so village four the size of it is 650 plus 100 750 so the answer will be 750 next which village has the maximum illiterate person? So maximum illiterate person the case. Kundu sub say illiterate person bishes. So if you look at village one, two, three, four, five, sub the highest to kuti. So sub the highest to we get in village one that is two hundred mano. Two hundred mano village illiterate mano bishes as compared to village two, three, four, five, say shogrido, village one la highest is with two hundred. So answer will be which village has a maximum illiterate it will be village one so option a will be the answer next which village has the maximum Ill, uh, literate person so maximum literate person though kun sub illiterate man so village one two three four five size of village five has maximum 800 so the answer will be village five that is option number d will be the answer next which village has the maximum literacy rate? So, maximum literacy rate. A row question is which has minimum literacy rate? So, first, literacy rate. What is literacy rate? Literacy rate means number of educated, number of educated divided by total population into 100. So, number of educated means number of literates, number of literates divided by total population into 100 war. so i hope you got the formula so let's take a look at the number of literacy rate so in order to do this we do sub literacy rate all over level so village one gonna say so village one gonna literacy rate come over 700 total money given as a literate money 700 divided by total population given as a 900 into 100 percent so it was little zero 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 can so 700 divided by nine do we get 77.77 percent so village one do 77 percent or point seven percent so next next Similarly, village 2 la dekhe manaze. So village 2 is 450 divided by total population to 500 into 100. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 5, 9, 0, 45. So it will be 90 percent. So next, village 3 gonna say. So village 3 dekhe manaze. 500 divided by 570 into 100 so zero zero uh, 
zero cancel grow to it will be five thousand divided by fifty seven so it will come to around eighty seven point seven percent so it will eighty seven percent next next is village four village four do total to 650 as a total retreat mono divided by 750 into 100 percent so zero zero cancel grow so if we divide 650 divided by 75 the answer will come to around village four other it will come to around 86 point six percent so it is 86 percent next village 5 lado ke mano so village 5 lado total is 800 divided by 950 into 100 so 00, zero cancel grow so if we sub if you find this the value will be 84.21 percent so 84 percent so i hope you understood this so village one la literacy rate to 77.7 percent as a village two la 90 percent as a village three la 87 percent as a village four la uh, 86 percent as a village five la 84 percent as a so which village has the maximum literacy rate so according to the question we found that village two has the highest with 90 percent so answer will be village two next which village has the minimum literacy rate so minimum literacy rate to subject komdido 84 percent as in village 5 so the answer will be village 5 so next question number 111 the last question is which village has the ratio has the ratio of illiterate to illiterate person as 13 is to 2 so 13 is to 2 do ratio kundula ola because that is uh, ratio of literate to kikusha illiterate that is literate to illiterate la ratio do 13 is to 2 lowly so let's look which is the which is the village so first village village one day literate mana do 700 as a para illiterate to 200 as a so 0 0 0 0 cancel cruise to 7 is to 2 as a so village one is not the answer next village two gonna 450 as a total or divided by illiterate mana to 50 as a to zero zero cancel five nine to 45 that is nine is to one but it is not the answer nine is to one don't know so village two we know next village three lado 500 divided by 70 so zero zero cancel 50 is to seven seven or 50 like could divisible my so 50 is to seven so the answer is not in village three also next village four there it will know it will know it will know so village four so 650 divided by 100 so village four there 650 by 100 so zero zero cancel gray 65 is to 10 so it is divisible by five five to the ten 5 1 is a 5, 5 3 is a 15. So the answer is coming 13 is to 2. So the answer will be in village 4. So I hope you understood this. You can take a look at the table and do yourself. So with this, the bar graph question has come to an end. Like this question will come. So be prepared and all the best for your exam. I'll be continuing with the uh, rest of the portion in the coming videos so thank you for watching and have a great time